Rated G. What's up guys, it's the Middle Age Gamer. We are playing Railway Empire and I hope you like that new intro. I actually got three new intros made for the channel. I'm gonna put a video out after this uh, to see which one you guys like best. I just kind of chose one randomly for this video. So hopefully you guys do like the new intro. Also, if you guys commented on my last train sim video, I sent you a comment back to get a free video game. Please make sure to review those comments if you did end up leaving one for that last train sim world video. Anyway, today I haven't done this in a while. Um, I'm going to go back and complete chapter two with the President's Medal. Again, we're not accepting anything less than that medal right there. And uh, we have a couple of ways we can do this. And I'll show you guys some tips or some hints on my end on how to go about getting the President's Medal and doing everything as quick as possible. Let's go ahead and get it into it. I'm not going to watch the actual video at the beginning. I'm not going to be riding along with the trains as a scenic route because we're going to be doing stuff the entire time more than likely. Uh, so first and foremost, you guys start in Baltimore right here and you have two choices and either way will work. I think we're going to start using warehousing though to help out. Um, if not, if you're not going to use warehousing, I'd get rid of this and I would end up putting in the large uh, train station with uh, signaling control. Very, very important. I'm going to leave that there, but I am going to put a warehouse in with signaling control because we are going to have lots of stuff coming here. And if I can get it, let me see, am I on the right one? Do I need a big warehouse? I think I'm going to do the big warehouse if I can get it in without it messing up. Will it go anywhere? Will it? Will it? Oh, there we go. There we go. And then I'm going to put a large train station right here. Put it on the outside of Washington. And let's go ahead and connect Baltimore to Washington. So we're just going to basically go through the task list as they pop up. The first two tasks is connect Baltimore to Washington, which we're doing right now. Then we need to connect three rural businesses to your rail network. So pretty straightforward on that. Let's go ahead and start laying some track. And let's use the let me use the bottom end of the tracks here. Oh, who's this new fish swimming in our turn pond? That down just a tad Greetings bit. And we of course always of need a supply tower in between what routes, which name we'll name need one right here. Beautiful stranger, wasn't And since it? we don't have signaling control, well, you do you want to put the cross like. sections of the just track let in. Me know if you need help push starting your train. Very important to do this. All right, and let's see, what else can we do? Actually, I'm gonna check one thing. I know I built that already. I haven't tried this as of yet. If we can make a warehouse, where is it at? There we go. To have both cities in there? Will it do that? Oh yeah, it will. If we can get it lined up properly, which I don't, oh no, it'll only allow one city at a time, okay. That's unfortunate. I wasn't sure if that would work or not. It does not work. To have two cities as part. Oh, you can have two cities. Hmm. Maybe we should do that. Or should we just do it for Baltimore? Let's go ahead and do it for both. Why not? Or we could build a second warehouse over there later. Decisions, decisions, man, that's hard. That's a hard one. I don't like how it's running right there, but I'm going to do it for both cities just in case we have to use it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start a train from Baltimore to Washington. Again, I didn't do warehousing beating this last time, but I think it's going to be a much easier way to do this scenario moving well, forward. So we're going to set up clear. just going from Baltimore to Washington. We're not going to do passengers only or freight only. We're just going to leave it as automatic. We're going to add the locomotive that we have, which is a pretty horrible locomotive. And that will just go back and forth. There's no reason to add more than one right now. So we're going to leave that as is. More importantly, we need to figure out what Baltimore needs. I know it needs obviously meat because it's, it's making meat right there. It needs cows. Um, let's see what else it needs. So grain, corn, logs, beer, sugar, and so forth, so on. So out of that, it needs grain. Does it need milk? I didn't see that. Yeah, it needs milk. 
which that does two over there to make cheese. So milk, that. Do we need carrots? Yep, we need carrots and we need greens. So we need all four of these. This will actually get us a second task checked off right there. Pretty simple to do. We're going to use large train stations to pick up both of these at the same time. And I'm going to see if I can do this an easier way. Maybe connect them like that. Okay. There we go. And I'm trying to think what's the easiest way to do this. Use the bottom two tracks for here. All right, let's figure this out. Use the top two tracks for over here. Again, you want to try to save as much money as possible. When laying tracks, let's go ahead and lay this. And then let's lay the top of this track. Actually, should we do the bottom? Let's do the bottom half of this track for now. Let's see if I can go it around. There we go. All right, next thing we want to do is go ahead and add the supply towers. And I'm just going to put one on each side. Let's do that. And put this one right here. Oop. All right, something that I didn't do even up here is I need to add the signaling. So where is this train? Let's make sure we put the signaling on both sides. I want all the tracks to be one ways. I think that's good for there. And then we'll do the same thing over here. So one ways. And we'll just run it down. There we go. Let's go ahead and do this line right here underneath. I'm just holding shift down to make sure that they line up as one-way signalings. If you don't, it's not going to put it as a one-way end block. So FYI, just in case you're trying to do that. Try and leave enough space for a full train as needed. There we go. All right, now we need to set up the lines from Collins Estate to Warehouse 2 and Lopez Farms to Warehouse 2. Let's go ahead and do Lopez Farm because I know we're going to need a few of those. And we're going to make this freight only at a locomotive. There we go. Oh, I did mess up. I need to do one thing before we do that. So we need to add all of these on here. So we need to add basically the milk, grain, carrots, and cow so there we go for that let's go ahead and add so add that on there for now where's the milk I need milk and carrots there we go now let's reset up the train again freight only we're gonna add the locomotive there we go. Now carrots are being brought. I'm going to give it a second. And we're going to basically clone this train until it starts bringing uh, the cattle in. There we go. Let's go ahead and set up this line up here on the other side. To call into state to warehouse. And we'll make this freight only again.
Let's see. Okay, so we still got plenty of cat. I'm going to go ahead and clone this guy one more time on this side. And we'll just keep an eye on it. And let's see how these guys are doing. Yeah, I definitely need to clone that again because we've got 16 milk and some grain left over. There we go. Might want to clone it even again. I'm going to do one more up here. There we go. Easy way to make money right there. Baltimore, where the headquarters of our firm is located, has a large clothing industry. So basically it's setting us up for our next task is all it's doing. And let's look at our task list. Uh, we haven't got the new task quite yet, but we should here in a minute. Fashion conscious customers are waiting for deliveries of ready tailored goods. Lay a rail line between Baltimore and New York. And the good part about this uh, scenario, if you do go negative, which we haven't got close to as of yet, it will actually give you a $2, mil, uh, two million dollar payment or one-time payment for going negative. So it's actually a good thing to go negative. You get a, another influx of cash. So we are going to try to go negative here in a little bit once we connect to New York. But uh, not as of yet. Coming up. I'm afraid to add any more trains. I might want to add one more on this side now. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. I want to make sure these guys are replenished for all these other trains coming back and forth. I don't want to overload the tracks by any reason or for any reason, I should say. And I want to put this on max for now uh, so it stores max amount. We can end up adding at least one more good to this here in the near future, which is probably going to end up being this unless we open another warehouse up above Baltimore, which we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so it says we actually do need to establish a rail line between Baltimore and New York so the clothing produced in Baltimore can be delivered to New York. So that is our next goal. Let's go ahead and start a... I'm just going to do a regular train station for now. I don't like how this guy put this track right there. I wish I would have got my line out before he got his, but nothing we can do as of yet. I'm going to put it as close to there as possible. What are you doing with this station here? I'm already here. Yeah, I know. That's kind of disappointing that you're already there, too. Because I'm going to have to go over this, it looks like. That's super annoying, but... Uh, and then probably around that too. I want to go negative if I can, so I'm going to pull out some money. In fact, let me just pull out that, and then what I'll do is buy some stocks, whatever's the lowest possible. Do consumer goods, raw materials. Let's do this. So the whole goal is for me right now to just to go negative. It's a little hint. You can't do this on future scenarios that I know of, at least not the next one. But I want to go negative with my interest payment is the goal. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's buy some more stocks. Why don't we? I'm actually making money already, which is kind of a problem, too. Uh, let's go ahead and let's do transportation fee. Increases the amount you get for each freight cart that's delivered. Again, just buying as many stocks as I can until that interest payment hits. I'm not sure when it actually hits. Maybe at the end of the month. You can see both trains are pretty much full. That's good. Let's see how this guy's doing. Okay, yeah, we're running out of supplies, which is good. They automatically restock 
And eventually these farms will get bigger and bigger. They're level one right now, as you can see, but it's 100% workload. So it'll eventually go to level two and produce more. Okay, getting towards the end of the month, which means I want to buy some stock. Right, 27th. Got what three more days to wait. There we go. Got the influx of cash. We're gonna go ahead and pay these bonds back, get rid of them. We'll keep the stocks long term for now and then sell them here in a little bit. All right, next step is to connect to New York, which is what we're gonna do. And I kind of want to run it up. Wish I could get a better percentage. God, it's so expensive to do it like that. And let's connect it to, let's say, the bottom for now. Now let's do the top. And then I'm just going to cut it in before the bridges to try to save. Actually, you know what? I think we got plenty of money. Let me see how much it costs just to run the full line, even with the bridges. Shouldn't be too much. Oh, cut it on the wrong side, though. So if you make a mistake like this, like I brought it in on the wrong side, I'll show you guys a little trick. All you have to do is temporarily put a uh, supply tower down, and then it will just delete the track going to the supply tower. Then you guys can simply just reconnect what you need to, which is obviously this. Once you fix the track, then you can just delete the supply tower. It's a little trick that hopefully you guys will use in the future. All right, let's connect that up. Let's go ahead and check the other side. Connect that. I like to do my supply towers first, so we're just gonna put these guys periodically throughout the route. One, two, three. And then we do need to make our, put that farther up, could have, yeah. So, one thing I haven't done as of yet, I don't know why that's a, di oh, it's a different color because it's a different, different person. I haven't put maintenance depots on any of my posts or any of the train stations, which I need to do that uh, next, actually. It's very important. Okay. There we go. So let's go ahead and do the maintenance depots before we set up the new line. So we want to put a maintenance building here. And we definitely need a maintenance building here as well for now. And I'm going to put one in New York on top of that. Let's go ahead and do one in New York. We're already over a thousand miles of track, which is good. All right. So next step is we need to set up a train line from Baltimore to New York. We'll leave it as automatic, not just passengers for now. Are you happy? I got you an article in the newspaper. Oh, there we go. Get on with your I'm going to set up one going the other way as well. I so New York to Baltimore. From time to leave time. it as automatic. Add another locomotive there. There we go. All right, so our next set of tasks have actually already uploaded. We need to connect Baltimore and Pittsburgh. And we got to deliver 10 loads of cotton to Pittsburgh and 20 loads of clothing to New York. So this is, has to be done by 1832. Pretty important on that aspect. 
Let's check these lines real quick. So those are relatively down, which is good. We want to keep those at low numbers. And this one is low numbers as well. So we got enough trains running those supply goods. Yes, anytime you can beat or do these uh, type of bids for free things, you definitely want to do it because the research points are hard to come by. You don't get a whole lot throughout the course. So it's basically like free research right there is really what it is. All right, so next thing we got to do is we got to connect uh, Baltimore to Pittsburgh. You can see it's up here as Pittsburgh, and we got to set up delivering the cotton to make the cloth and the cloth down to make the dresses. The dresses end up going to New York is what's really happening with everything. If you guys study the terrain, the easiest way to do this that I can find is coming over here, and you can almost see the depression in the hills. And I don't know if you need to come down here. Or if you can come over and come down, but we'll figure it out as we do it. We're going to go ahead and make a large train station for now. And using the bottom line, I'm going to go ahead and start running my track. Again, just trying to follow this curve. And I don't know if it's easier to go down here. Let's see if we can figure this out. So, zero... That's expensive to do it that way. We don't want... Let me get rid of this guy right here. Just trying to follow the train as best as possible. Let's see. There we go. So yeah, I think the last time I kind of came over this way or down here and then down, but this is the easiest way to do it right there. Only less than 200000 to build the track, which is actually pretty good. And did I connect to the very bottom? I did. So let me correct this track right here. There we go. And let's see if we can run dual line the whole way. I think we have enough money. If not, we can get a loan for the company. This isn't needed. You could put sidings on various ways along the way instead of running full track. I just like running full track so I don't have to worry about it down the road or worry about trying to fix anything. Okay. Oh, mess that up. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Let's do the bottom part. And then let's go ahead and put our supply towers in. We're going to need quite a few. So, yeah, we ran out of funds right now. Let's go ahead and get a loan. We don't have any bonds out. We can get a half a million right there. And we can also get another bond if we need to here in a little bit. Hopefully we won't have to do that. But let's go ahead and put our sup uh, supply towers in again. Again, I'm kind of doing overkill. I could have less supply towers and make it work, but... The less my trains break down, the better, to be honest with you guys. Signaling is going to be the next step. Again, we want one way on each side. And we could probably space these out a little bit more. Getting all these done. There we go. Let's go ahead and run one line for now. And leave it automatic. And more importantly, we need to set up this farm to Pittsburgh so we can make more cloth going down. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to use... Uh, I'm going to use a small train station for now. I can always expand this in the future. I'm going to actually run it to Pittsburgh on the top side so it stays kind of out of the way, so to speak. Let 
we go. And then, of course, we want the supply tower next. That's the way I like to do things. And then we want to set up the signaling as well. Actually, we need to set this up on this side. There we go. Set up the signaling now. Okay, let's go ahead and set up the line from Wilson Farm to Pittsburgh. We'll leave this freight only since that's all it's going to be doing. The locomotive. Let's go ahead and do the research. So on the research, you do have trains, locomotives. You also have the company. So you really want to kind of look closely at both of these to see what best fits your style and your company. I don't really need passengers, so to speak. I do want to get to where I unlock the John Bull, though. So for that, we have to unlock three of these items to unlock the John Bull. So I'm going to go ahead and get the number of passengers in each station increase. We can get this next and then the John Bull, however you want to work it. Okay, so this farm has 8 of 14 taken. I'm going to put two on this route, maybe slightly overkill. Let's see in Pittsburgh. So we have 19 cloth there, which means I want to go ahead and clone this guy. Trains at this stage move relatively slow, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and check our farms out. This is low numbers, which is good. And this is low numbers, which is good. May even be slightly overkill on the trains. I might be able to get rid of one train. Let's see if anybody's losing money as of right now. Of course, some of these trains are so new, it's hard to say. Yeah, so some of these are so new, it's not really giving us an output. Baltimore to Washington is by far most profitable because it's been running the longest back and forth. Now for this, I'm going to go ahead and hire as many people as I can. And you can assign them with that button right there if you want to, but I like to go in and see who's making the most money, which is Baltimore to Washington. And I want to try to manage this chain to be as good as possible. And you definitely want the green arrows if you can help it. There we go. You don't have first call on cities, farms, or mines. Next one I want to do is probably one of these longer trains, like the uh, Baltimore to New York. This would be a good one to put whatever else you have remaining on here. There we go. All right, so next step is we have to deliver 20 loads of clothing to New York by 1834. We can see we're already pretty ahead. If you have the yellow check mark, that's the max score. You don't want a green check mark. Otherwise, you will not get the president's medal. Is someone buying shares? Is that what's happening? If I buy enough for her or him right now, it's probably for the best, to be honest. I'll buy you up first, dude. I don't want to buy a whole lot. I'll go ahead and buy 10% right now. Hey, thanks for trusting me, eh? I don't like usually investing that early, but I will definitely do it. And for this scenario, if you have enough money, hiring like the saboteurs and everything else that you can is probably for the best. Let's check how are these guys doing. You don't have to deploy saboteurs to do better. Don't want to overload you could deal with them the Baltimore to New York line unless I can help it. They seem to be full, so which routes are more lucrative? Let me go ahead and add one more train on here. So I'm glad I, I kept the freight off of here. Otherwise all of these trains would be going into the main station of Baltimore, which is gonna hurt these longer trains uh, going from like New York to Baltimore, Baltimore up to Pittsburgh. Uh, it can be done, but again, you wouldn't want to use this large station. You would want to use the terminal station with signaling control. It's very, or large station with signaling control. 
to properly get the trains in and out. But even with that, you're gonna have trains that are waiting for each other once you overload a line by too much. So this is all good. We do have some milk that is getting slightly backed up. But I'm fine with that. If you want to go kind of above and beyond, you could start buying up like these different farms, raising them up. But the problem is each time you go up a level, it's an insane cost to do so. So on these earlier scenarios and when it's early on in the game like this, it's not worth to buying. It's not worth buying a farm and then having the level up because you could spend a million dollars once you get to a high level just to get it to the next section of providing more grain milk whatever you know what have you on that there's a security guard i'm gonna put him on one of these lines actually you know what i'll put him on a new york line you should have learned the most important aspects of your position by now here we go all right we got new task in Stay alert. we're still delivering 20 loads of clothing to new york next is going to be connecting baltimore and toledo we got to reach a certain population in Baltimore, buy 20% shares in a competitor, achieve a value of 20 million, and then we have the optional task down here. Uh, but next up is we have to deliver 20 loads of clothing to work. I don't need to do anything on that. We're already delivering the uh, clothing, so that's not a big deal. The next date we have to hit is connecting Baltimore to Toledo. So let's look at that first. Let's get rid of all of these. We don't need all these hints. We already know everything. Or, I don't know everything, but I know enough to get by. Let's get rid of all this. It's annoying. How is this doing up here? I haven't checked this in a while. Okay, so we're almost running too many trains on there. How's Baltimore, Pittsburgh doing? Yeah, we need to go ahead and clone a train to Pittsburgh to Baltimore. If we can find one, there we go. Let's go and clone that. Okay, so we can actually unlock this mixed train, which is much better than what we have. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. That a new locomotive? And I'm going to see how much Does it costs. It to replace well? all of the locomotives, to, to go ahead and go right here. And you can change to what you want to do all, or you can say, I only want the freight mix or express trains replaced. We want all the trains replaced, which we don't have enough money for quite yet. I'm going to go ahead and pull out another loan. We don't have to, but I want to. One, so we can get these locomotives replaced, because these will go faster and deliver more. And I want to buy 10% of a competitor, or 20% of a competitor. So let's go into the company, go right here. I'm going to buy 10 more shares. There we go. So we completed the task of getting 20% shares in one company. All right, Baltimore to Toledo. I need to get back on track. Let's see where Toledo is because I have no idea. I haven't played this scenario in a while. Uh, that's a good question. Where is Toledo? Am I just passing it? Oh, there it is way up there. I guess I can connect Toledo to Pittsburgh. So let's just do a small train station, run some track. Probably not the most profitable route in the world, but I want to get this task checked off. So I'm going to do a small train station for now. Okay. Let's see if we can come down here. And then I want to connect it right there. And I want to get it on this bottom track as well. So let me do that. This will speed up the trade of goods and help bring more prosperity to the city. Go put the crossing there. And for this, I don't think I'm going to make a double track as of yet, but I do want to add at least one or two supply towers along the way. So I'll put one. Actually, I'll do three. Faster and faster all the time.
the time. And let's look at our that signaling real quick. Traveling in style. So the bottom would be one way this way. And then we can just use regular signals for here. Again, we'll eventually expand this, but I don't need to right now. I think it's just kind of a waste of money. And I am going to make one rail from Toledo to Pittsburgh. Shall I go ahead and put a stoker on there? Why not? Okay. Let's see what's next on our task list. We need to have a population of 100,000 in Baltimore. So to get the population up, a lot of people think that connecting to as many cities and having a trains running to the city is the best way possible. However, that's not true. The secret is you want to have everything Baltimore needs coming to Baltimore as far as its supply chain goes. So for that, we need to go in here and look at what it doesn't have. We don't have corn. We don't have logs. We don't have sugar, etc., fruit. These are all things the city needs to grow. Um, and here's an easy one. We have sugar right here. And then this warehouse, it looks like it has room for one more in there. So it looks like we can add sugar on here. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's build a train station for the sugar. And we may be running out of money here in a second, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and hire the engineer. And I'll put them on one of these lines. Oop, I don't want to do that. I want to manage train. There we go. Okay. Oop, don't want to do that. All right, so let's see if we can get... I don't know if I can curve this around that much. I'm going to try... Oh, I don't want to build that. That's what I didn't want to happen. That's super expensive. Look, the tunnel is just insane to do that. 276 to get there through the tunnel, which is insane. And it's a 15% incline, which is absolutely horrible as well. Uh, let me see if there's any other way to do it. I could run it through Baltimore. Might be the best way. Does, does this need sugar too? Yeah, I think I'm gonna run it through the Washington station. Which will free up that one spot on that side for the uh, warehouse, but let's go ahead and connect that. Okay, all right, let me check one more thing out here before I forget. I don't know if I put a maintenance building in Pittsburgh I did not. We definitely need that first. So Toledo there has maintenance and Wilson Farm there has maintenance. Baltimore has it already, so we're good on that. Need at least one supply tower along the way. Let's go ahead and add our signaling. Actually, let's add the cross track first. There we go. And let's set up our signals. And for this, I'm going to basically go to Smith Farm to Washington, then back to Smith Farm to Baltimore. Do freight only. And we need a little bit more money for the locomotive, which is fine. We can wait a second. There we go. Let's go check on how everything's doing. We need to work on the population in the Baltimore. We also need to work on connecting 10 rural business to uses, businesses to your rail network. I can't talk today. And then we got to buy out one of our competitors down the road. So we have a lot of things checked off in 1830. I mean, we're not even 1831, which is where the first one is due. So we're definitely doing good. We just need to work on 
getting as many rural businesses to Baltimore to expand our population right now is what we need to work on. Let's see what we can get. We need logs. That's going to be a relatively expensive journey. What about corn? Do we have corn? Because corn is down here. And I could run it through Smith Farm. That might be the best option. I'm trying to see what else I can do. There's fruit over here. I don't think we need I'm sure it won't bother you coal. If my spy took a quick look around your research department. I'm going to increase the reliability of my locomotives next. We got milk over there. We already have milk. So let's go ahead and do corn. Uh, I think I'm going to run it through Smith Farm. And up to Baltimore. Let's go ahead and work on this. In fact, I want to go ahead. Let's expand the station. Wait till this train goes by. Let me get the train go by and I'm going to fix this right here. Okay, so let's fix the track first. There we go. And then we want to run Smith Farm down here. Is there anything else down there? Is Norfolk, which we can run to as well. I'm going to make a big train station, even though it's probably not needed. Just because we're going to run track through to Norfolk a as station well. station in the middle of nowhere? This is a non-starter. Okay. Running out of money, which is fine. Eleven stations connected on our behalf. There's a good time to maybe sell some stock. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a little cash influx. Not a not a whole lot of profit there, unfortunately. But that would give us a hundred hundred thousand, only profit of two thousand. Let's go ahead and get pull some stock out. It's only a profit of three thousand dollars, which is not good. We'll pull some of this out as well. There we go. Just so we can finish up this route. Lay the track on both sides. Same thing with Smith Farm. Again, if I'm going too fast for you guys on some of these items, just let me know what you have questions on. I don't mind helping you guys out as much as I can. And I need to add a supply tower somewhere. Right there is probably good. All right. Signaling here. Did you know that I am speaking in Washington? Do freight only. Indian tribes? They have granted me the title of High Wanob. Go ahead and automatically assign them, which is that's what that should do right there. And I think Washington needs corn too. I'm gonna run two trains if it can handle it. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna run two trains, so Lee Farm to Washington, freight only. John Bull. Smith Farm probably could have had two trains running out of it. I didn't really want to overload it. All right, let's see where we're at right now. We have seven rural businesses connected. We're increasing our population slowly. Go ahead and get a station master is it right there as well, which helps out as far as dispatching train times. All right, we need to add some more rule stations to the mix. 
Uh, I don't want to buy that. No, I don't. Bad idea. Let's see what else we can add. Fruit would be good. Adding the logs into New York would be actually amazing. We might do that next. We might just make a warehouse here just for the logs. Because this is building furniture. So basically taking the logs, making wood, taking the lumber, and making furniture with it. But we have a lot of lumber to be exported too, so I don't know. We'll see. Do I need to make another one of these? Let's go ahead and clone this train to see. It's not full. So we'd have to figure out a place to export all that lumber to. There's not a lot of whole or a whole lot of cities that big that are requesting that. On the other hand, Norfolk does need grain to make beer, and I know Baltimore does need beer. Right there, they have zero. Let's do that. I think that's going to be the best bet. Let's go ahead and make a train station in Norfolk. Let's connect it up. Another new station. Where will this end? And do we need a supply tower? Let's go and put one supply tower, I guess. Do the signaling. There we go. And then we need to connect this grain to Norfolk as well. Alright, so let's set up a train from Norfolk to Washington. And then we need to set up one from there to Baltimore. Actually, let's just, let's just do Baltimore for right now. Uh, let's see, let's get rid of that. Norfolk to Baltimore and maybe coming back through Washington in case it's not full. Mm, I don't know. I think I'm just going to do Norfolk to, to Baltimore. Let's go ahead and leave it at that. Only reason is the whole whole point of doing this is to increase the size of Baltimore by getting as many supplies to there as possible. That gives us 7 out of 10 rural businesses connected as well. We're about to make it 8 once we connect to this over here. So we're going to make a small train station. And I'm just going to connect it to this, I guess, existing rail network, if you want to call it that, instead of making a warehouse. There we go. And let's go ahead and run the track all the way down. Try that again. Build one more supply tower. Probably do it right here. Run the signals now. Should be good right there. Reed farm to Norfolk. Freight only. Got to wait to get a little bit more money right there. These are some definitely or some long scenarios is what I should say. We're almost at, what, 50 minutes or so. 
And we're doing things as quickly as possible. I mean, we're not wasting any time whatsoever. All right, so now we're loading grain, which is making beer. Beer is going to Baltimore, which is good. I'm going to make a train from Norfolk to Washington as well. Leave it on automatic. Basically, it's just delivering beer at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and start doing the company and construction on one of these. Increases passengers in every station by 8%, which will help out. Looking at our task list, we need to connect two more rural stations. We still need to grow Baltimore by about 20,000, which does happen over time, but we want to do it sooner than later. So we need two more rural businesses. Let's look at Baltimore first. And I know we're not using the sugar down here. So we can get rid of that. And we have room for one more to go through there. Let's check these out first. Okay, so we have a ton of meat that's available. We can add another train or two on this line. I'm going to check that here in a second. Are you looking to play with the big boys? So what now? So as far as meat, we have zero in here. We need to haul a lot more cows from the Lopez farm down. So I'm going to go ahead and make two more trains. Over here, it's a little bit of an influx. I'm going to add one more train. I don't want to overkill it by any means. Okay, so that's good. Let me look at Baltimore just real quick, see what else needs to happen here. Baltimore is pretty much good. Let me look at Pittsburgh. I'm sure it won't bother you that Pittsburgh's my good. A quick look around your research department. Those numbers are still low. We could connect to Buffalo. It's offering a bar. The bonus just went away, actually, so that's pointless. I need another rural station. I was hoping to get one more for Baltimore. Okay, fruit right there. That's perfect. That's actually what we need, because I know Baltimore does need fruit. Yep. All right, perfect. So Baltimore needs fruit. We can put it on this line going to the warehouse. Let's go ahead and add this. There we go. This will help increase the population size as well. I'm just going to do a small train or small train station, excuse me, over here. Actually, let's do a large one because I may have one going down to New York as well. All right, so now we need to connect to the Collins. Oh, I don't want to. Jesus, it's going to be expensive to go through there because of the. It's a huge mountain right here. What if we went... There we go. That's much better. I like that. That's way less too, even though it's extra track. This needs to go back. Let's see, which track? That's the top track. This needs to be top track as well. That's a 15% decline right there, but let me see if I can move this out. There we go. Uh, not going to allow the second track underneath if I do that. Let me try that. Hopefully it allows the second track. We'll see. Yeah, it does. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I need to do the... did it, did it backwards. Alright, you guys know how to fix this, right? 
I need 117,000, then we'll fix the track here in just a second. See, all this track getting backed up. This would all be backing up Baltimore. I've got bad weather in Baltimore right now, but this would all be backing up the Baltimore station, which is what you do not want to happen. So I think we need 170. I think we still have two loans out too. Yeah, we do. Let's see if we can sell any of our shares. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good profit right there. Can we sell any of this? There we go. So let's go ahead and build that. We're going to put a supply tower right here to fix the track. You guys know how to do this, or you should know how to do this by now. Then we're going to connect it to King Preserve. Okay, so now we do need to actually put supply towers where they need to go. Founding father George Washington. I hope that the disputes about it will be over someday, and I'll be the first to make a donation. Now let's do the signaling, and I need to match up with this signaling right there if I can. So top one, we do the track. Here we go. set the rail line king's preserve all the way to warehouse two freight only shall I put a security guard on that line why not and I may run two trains on there it's such a long line so Baltimore has just reached a population of 90,000 which is good but it's not the 100,000 we need quite yet. We're very, very close. And we're only in 1831, so we're very, very close to hitting that number. One thing it does allow us to do is we can actually start an industry here if we want to. Um, not sure what we would do other than maybe the distillery, because I don't know if anywhere else has a distillery or not. We do have sugar. And we do have fruit going there. Let's do the distillery. Why not? Do we have enough money? There we go. So now we actually own the distillery there. We'll keep an eye on it. it kind of makes me want to have sugar going to the warehouse, but that's fine. Not a big deal. For this... We have 8 of 12 there. I'm going to go ahead and clone it. How many do we got now? We got, okay, 0 of 12. So it can run two trains until it refills. Might be able to put a third train on there once these get down towards the warehouse. Um, let's see. Can we do that? What else can we do? I really like to be able to have that done him to upgrade our locomotive now let's go ahead and get this one we'll be able to upgrade to the dunham 42 once we get 300 innovation points we'll take that account and in case we can get that done him we can get a reduced cost of that So we need one more rule business. 
I don't know what Baltimore needs. Fruit, we have fruit coming there. We definitely need more cloth coming down. Let's see if we can make that happen. Okay, so that's going to be emptied of cloth in a second. Once that train hits. This really hasn't got any bigger. Those two trains running it are still plenty. Okay, and we have all, all the cloth we can for now going down there. All right, for Toledo, I'm going to go ahead and connect Scott Ranch there to get rid of that one task where we need 10 rural businesses. Then we can figure out what would help everywhere else, so to speak. But before we do that, I do want to go ahead and expand the station. And I would like to make this dual lane all the way down. Now is the time to do it. I hate upgrading track after the fact, but this is one where we definitely need to have that happen. Let's see, let's go ahead and fix all of this. Sure, why not? We'll put it right there. Okay, so that's dual track all the way down. We already have supply towers. Let's go ahead and run the signaling now. Actually, we need to fix this track right here. Now we can run the signaling. Okay, so I do have current signals on there I need to watch out for too. kind of a signal in itself right there so all right so we should be good right there that's a dual track now we just need to connect this to Toledo do a small train station it's one of those things I don't know if I want to start another warehouse for Toledo or just run it into Toledo. Let's start a warehouse. This can be our next kind of hot spot to upgrade this town if we want. And let's do a supply or small train station, excuse me. You can see we completed the task of getting 10 rural businesses connected. We still need to hit the 100,000 population in Baltimore, which it's slowly creeping up there with what we have running right now. I'm just going to run one supply tower in between the warehouse and Scott Ranch. Let's run the signaling real quick. There we go. And then we just got to run the line. Scott Ranch to there. Freight only course. Add the locomotive. Oh, I forgot one thing I need to add. Meat to the warehouse, most important. This place also needs sugar, which is right One here. Of trains isn't doing what it should be doing. And it needs fruit, which is right here, so we can do that next. 
after looking at the rest of the rail lines, see where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I'm just going to reset it up. Freight only. There we go. That's what we want. And I'm probably going to run two trains. So I'm going to go ahead and clone it. And I can probably run one more train from Toledo to Pittsburgh is the plan. Well, I don't know why the guy was empty right there. Because this these guys should need meat. Oh, they're overloaded on meat. Alright, so we need to connect to Grand Rapids would be a good one. In Indianapolis and Louisville. And both those make meat. So we just need to go to Grand Rapids is what it looks like. Let's make another small train station up here. Because we want to get rid of as much, as much of that meat that we're making in Toledo as possible. I'm just going to go connect right there. We need 103,000. Let's go ahead and wait for that to hit. Do I have... Okay, I do have a maintenance building there. Just double checking that. His accounts of how the railroad is used in mining there fascinate. I think the two trains here are probably going to be overkill until we start getting rid of some of the meat here in Toledo. A mammoth task. All right. Let me fix the track down here and then we'll run the signaling again. go perfect set up the line Toledo to Grand Rapids I'll leave it as automatic and I need a little bit more money to buy the locomotive. There we go. Baltimore is growing yeah, we got meat thriving. leaving here, which is good. That's what we wanted. Well Alright, so we did achieve the 100,000 population in Baltimore. Now we have to achieve a company value of 20 million. And we also have to buy out our competitors. So... We just need to keep expanding as much as possible by checking all of the routes. We're out of meat here, which means Lopez Farm probably needs more. It does. Put two more on there. Gonna load up this line as much as possible. Let's check Collins Estate. This actually needs more trains on it too, so. We almost need two of these warehouses with four tracks going to each place now with how things are going. So we can definitely run logs to New York would be a good one to do. Let's go ahead and set that up as a warehouse on this side would be relatively easy so i'm just going to do a small warehouse and it's literally just going to run straight to this guy right here super simple setup We do need a supply tower, of course. And then we just need some signaling. I'm just going to run one train each way, or basically one train is all we're doing. Let's see. Not really a need for a signal since that's right there.
<coughs> excuse me. All right, 19 stations currently connected. Oh, I gotta load, put this as logs. And we wanna run a maintenance facility. I don't know if we have maintenance buildings everywhere else that we need. It's probably something we should check, like this one definitely needs it, just cause it's such a long line to get to Baltimore. You see how trains loading up at the warehouse, which is fine. All right, so we're moving logs now, which is good. Maybe about 200 or 180 more points to get this, so we're just gonna wait till we can buy that locomotive. It goes a little bit faster. I'm sure the uh, traction power, tractive power is a little bit better on there as well. Next thing we could do is bring in sugar and fruit to Toledo. I think that's gonna be our next stop, just to increase the values or increase the value of our company. So let's go look at this, see what we're working with right now. We would need three million to merge with Dan. Maybe best to pay off our bond though and get a bigger bond, pay this one off and so on. Let's see if we can get some money from our shares. Let's go ahead and sell all of our stocks. And let's pay off the bigger the bonds. Buy this, I'm gonna pay off the smaller of the bond. See, it's just like a monopoly game to get more money. With this, we can expand our railway. We can also try to buy out or buy stocks. See, that would get us to about owning 50%. Or that's 50, okay, buy 50% shares. Let's go ahead and do that. So we own 70% of Dawn oh, right now. We just need 30 more percent to buy them out. So it. that's pretty good. You can see they only have 10 trains in use. Beatrix Von Pump or whatever her name is only has nine. We got 37 trains in use and we're only in 1831, which is insane. So we could just let these trains run and buy him out, or we could expand adding sugar and the fruit to Toledo so they can make wine, you really should pay more what do they call it? Is it wine or liquor? Sorry. Motives. But liquor hasn't been exported from Toledo yet, which is kind of strange. Probably because we're making it in Baltimore. Okay, these guys also need salt, paper tools. Is there any salt anywhere? That's close. I don't see any. Jesus Christ, I don't see salt anywhere on the map. Oh, there it is, right there. Run it on this line from Pittsburgh. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's run some salt. The rail network spreads out like weeds. We're not going to run this to a warehouse, but it's this line is so unused or hardly used because the other warehouse is in use at Baltimore. We're fine. All right, let's go ahead and build one supply tower right here. Should be good. And let's put in the signaling. Mm. Just gonna one run one train right now. 
The other one, if it was coming up, would stop right here Why this train was coming down. It's quite a long wait for another train, but that's fine. Of course, freight only. Go ahead and add the locomotive. I'm not sure how much salt this place holds. Okay, not a whole lot, so... Probably only run two trains on it anyways. Getting pretty close to unlocking the, uh, this locomotive. We need 100 more points. We could also unlock this one, which is actually slower than the one we're using, so we're not going to do that. Let's see if we can steal something from this lady. And let's go ahead and buy some more stock. There we go. We need 20 more percent to own Dawn. Getting pretty close to doing that. We're already worth 10 million of our company value, which we have to do by 1845. Again, we're only in 1831. Let that set in how quickly we are doing things. This could easily be a four hour scenario if you really wanted it to be, but we're going to do this hopefully in about an hour 30 at the absolute most. Why does it say engine shed? Okay. Did I get, did I steal that? Let me see, hang on. What did I steal? Oh, I stole, okay, I stole the John Hancock, which we don't need, so that's kind of a waste of money, but that's fine. It is a means of transport that should be open to all people. Someone stole the detonator from me, which is fine. Not a big deal. One of your engineers spilled the beans, and now I have new technology. Go ahead and copy that train. Go ahead and clone this train so we can bring passengers down from Pittsburgh to Baltimore. So yeah, things are going pretty good. I'm really glad that I set up the warehouse from the beginning. Otherwise, there'd be too many trains running through Baltimore. It's just a pain. Because once you have to fix it to delete and reroute everything, it just takes a while. It's not worth doing if you can avoid it. And we're getting pretty close to being able to buy this guy out. 10 shares is 398. And we just need 10 more. So about 460 Probably about 500,000 by the time stock prices go up. Let's see, company values almost 11 million. I'm going to buy out the competitor first and then we'll start expanding our railway again from that point. Pretty vast network already. We really could have. Had a lot more things going to New York fairly easy. Like all of these items, we could probably, actually we still could because we have the other siding here on each side. We could have them all going to a warehouse outside of New York, which would give us plenty of money. So we may end up doing that next. Again, anytime you can, if you have money to bid on these, always do it. Always try to win these auctions. You it's yourself? free things Don't unlocked. My space. Is that not mine? Okay, that's not mine. I was like, why is my thing not unlocking? All right, we're just waiting to get about a half a million to buy out our first competitor. And I think I'll work on New York next if I can. Oh, bad press. Who reads the papers these days anyway? Tons of trains going in and out. Oh, we got a overage of carrots or vegetables, excuse me, right now. In fact, if we did that, we can limit this and pick up more. What well, what this is gonna do is just basically pick up Thomas breeding until people start eating all the vegetables here. 
I really should have a train coming out to deliver vegetables other places, but I'm not going to do that right now. Is there no maintenance here? Okay, let me get a maintenance there. All right, let's buy out the competitor. Hopefully, we got enough money. There we go. Excellent. You have defeated a competitor and taken over all. Just the bought him out. Now I just have to achieve the company value of 20 million. You can see it's constantly going up. The more money we have, the more it goes up. I think paying off our bonds would be helpful too. First and foremost, let's see what we can get to New York though. Again, I have Lopez Farm calling to state that I can run to. I'm just not sure how or which way is best. Probably be on the south side here. If I can upgrade this, I don't know what I can upgrade this to though. Let's do this. Let's delete all of this. And we're going to do something a little bit different. All right, let's see if we can make a big warehouse with terminal station here. Don't want to do it. I guess I have to do it on the south side. So hopefully this will be good right here. And I may end up moving this station as well. All right, let's set this station up first because it's the easiest try to make it as far away as possible so right you're there building a station here well you have to make your own mistakes there we go we do need a supply tower on here unfortunately and i'm just gonna make one signal on each end set up a new line going there freight only and before we do that, I need to add logs. Uh, see cows. Vegetables. And grain. So that's one, two, three, four. I'm missing one. What? Vegetables, cows, oh, milk. So milk right there. Let's go ahead and max everything out. We'll put a maintenance building here as well. Add the locomotive, John Bull. All right, now we got to connect this warehouse to the Lopez Farm, Collins to State. Before I do that, I'm going to add no, a maintenance it building. Looks like one of your trains has a problem. When on I each one of these. The the and now it's just a matter of getting the tracks to the correct places. And don't tell me these mountains of raw materials are supposed to be transported by horses. Okay, so that's not going to work. Let's cut that back. So I need this to get up there. That's what I need. So I think I had it right. 19%. Jesus Christ. Probably a better way to run that, isn't there? Let me see if there's a better way to run it from maybe this side. That's not, not a better way. I need more money, so let's let the money come up. Okay. I guess the better thing to do would be to upgrade our locomotives I at this point. Let's see how much it costs to do that, though. 1.6 million. Yikes. I think it would be better to upgrade this to have more profit coming in and then upgrade it. What is going on up here? Okay, because of it's basically saying we there's a faster locomotive out. I need 
to add a warehouse there. Basically saying upgrade your locomotive, homie, is what it's really saying because there's faster locomotives out. Worth 12 million. Did we not merge with them? Let's merge and let's actually liquidate everything. Well, it's only a million eight. I'm just gonna liquidate everything. You'll find it's not that much of a cash works. infusion, but when I get rid of these bonds, let's see what we can do. A million one, one point two. How much does Beatrice cost? Ah, we're pretty close. Let's buy her out first, eh? Hey? You can't go wrong investing in my company. I don't know what that does to my company value. It's still eleven million. Basically I'm just gonna buy her out real quick is all is really what we're doing right now. Basically, saying I need to get rid of the meat that's in stock. So a lot of these lines could use some tweaking at this point, but we're already rolling in the money. We're pretty close to the end of the scenario. Not really any reason to particularly do that. All right, so we need 677000 to buy her out. I'm going to liquidate her as well. So there is no competitors moving forward. Go ahead and hire all the staff real quick. Pretty close to merging, 676. Forty trains in use, which is pretty insane. I think on the next scenario after this, I'll probably have close to 60, maybe 70 trains in use by the time I complete it, but Let's see surveyor, mediator. Oh, bad press. Who reads the papers these days anyway? So close to being able to merge. There we go. Let's liquidate everything. Niles, I'm leaving. There we go. And let's look at our company value now. All right, 12 million. Cash is definitely counting up. Let's go ahead and finish what we were doing down in New York to get our value up going to cost quite a bit to run this track which we are well aware of for better and worse who can we run it under there that'd be cool uh, 19 percent though nope there you go that's actually not bad right there And, of course, I ran it on the wrong side, right? So let's use our little trick again, putting the supply tower down. We're going to demo this. And we're going to run this the correct way. There we go. Let's get rid of our supply tower. Now let's properly add the supply tower. So we'll put one, two... Run our signals. I think these have signaling control, so I need to 
add the cross track real quick. Same thing, run signals. All right, next step, Collins the state needs to go down to warehouse five. And we're gonna be doing freight only. I'm gonna add the newest of the locomotives. Looks like I need to assign some staff pretty soon. We'll do that in a minute. Go ahead and put three trains on here. And let's set up the other line. Can I connect this together? No. It's going to have to run separate, it looks like. Ooh. I'm going to have to get past this part. There we go. Hopefully I'm running it on the right side this time. I don't know if I am. Yeah, I am. Let's put our supply tower in. I'm going to put probably two. And then let's run our signals as we always do. There we go. And then we just need to run a new line from Lopez Farm down to Warehouse 5. Freight only, of course. And I'm going to put three trains on there for now, see how things go. I can always adjust it if needed. Next thing we want to do is upgrade all of our locomotives. I think we needed about a million to do that, though, is the only issue. Could get a bond. Let's go ahead and buy a bond. We can pay it back in a second. Okay, so let's replace all locomotives. There we go. And we got more innovations we can unlock. Let's go ahead and do it for passengers. So, bonus for new industry if we put one there. Don't really need to do that. I think at this point, you could probably buy industries to increase your company value if you wanted to. Like we could buy Allen's Logging. Again, you have to just kind of keep an eye on it to raise the level or lower the level as needed. 13 million right now. Kind of curious, if we buy something that's making a lot of money, what is it going to cost? So, like we bought this, it's two million just to buy it. Does our company value go up by that or not? I doubt it, highly doubt it. And if we take out a loan, what happens to the company value? Is it still 13,280? Let's see. 13,340, so. Let's buy out Thomas Breeding we can I just don't think that's going to increase our value by what we're paying for it at least I highly doubt it you know what wasn't there a mediator Headhunter, don't we'll need that. Let's look at Baltimore. Like, if I bought the meat industry, can I buy it? One million five. So, let's see what this does to our company value 13,740, right? Let's buy the meat industry and let's see what happens. 
13740 to four. So it went up a little bit, not as much as what we bought it for, but it's definitely increasing our company value. So we own this. It says 0% though. This says 0 Why is this saying 0%? Because uh, it's probably out of cloth, I'm assuming. It's the only thing I could think of. How's the cloth going up here? And how is this farm? So we definitely need to increase. Can y'all not get along? There we go. Always problems. We need to increase the amount from Wilson Farm over, but it's only carrying two, which doesn't make any sense. If there's 43 here, oh, probably because we need to increase this. It's at the max level, is what it's saying. Can't increase the industry. It's just not doing it that fast. It's like we need to buy another cloth industry. Like we almost need to get 40,000 people in Pittsburgh so we can buy a second cloth industry to double up. If that makes any sense. Okay, doing so we could get grain to go to Pittsburgh. Let's do that real quick. And go right there. have two bonds out too so we have to wait till we make some money I think really the company value is just pretty much a waiting game at this point we're at 15 million right now you can see it's going up by how much we have in hand but let's see if we can just double up I'm not gonna change any signaling right there. Let's go to Pittsburgh, freight only. There we go. And could maybe run two trains. We're just gonna run one. What else does Pittsburgh need? It says it needs logs. Does it need logs for any reason? Okay, let's go ahead and run a new line. To Pittsburgh again, we're just trying to increase the size of Pittsburgh right now. Freight only. There we go. That should be technically enough to get it to the 40,000 mark, I'm assuming. Baltimore is kind of maxed out on its meat production, has nowhere to take it. This would be a good time to connect it to Syracuse and have them deliver meat over there. But I want to double up the production of cloth if I can. Because this is kind of the money maker, so to speak. You can see the inhabitants is going up. There's a big green arrow. Oop. Green arrow of it going up. What else does this place need? Sugar, which we have up here. Okay, let's connect sugar there too. It 
It's a long way to deliver sugar, but if it gets me what I need, then that's the most important part. Let's connect it right there. Doing this too quickly. I'm only going to put basically one train on here. Go. Pittsburgh, freight only. Alright, sugar is being delivered there. We're at 36,000 people. Don't need profits. What else do we got? Probably hold off on that. What is going on here? Train is waiting for a clear route. Is it just overloaded to where it can't find one? I could almost just bypass this altogether. Try this. That would bypass it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm kind of curious. Let's uh, see. Okay, so it's gonna it's gonna bypass Collins Estate altogether now, which is good. That's what we want. All right, we're getting close to almost an uh, hour, 45 minutes or so. Again, it's kind of just a waiting game to get the company value up. I think what I'm going to do at this point is simply just let it go to 20, uh, 20 million. That way you guys aren't waiting forever. For my friends on the East Coast. Great Lakes are a long There's not a whole lot more that I can show you. I can upgrade to better trains which i will do moving forward and i will slowly increase the rail empire slightly and i will end up buying another weaving factory right here so we can double up production of that is the uh the plan at least just so you guys know what i'm doing but yeah i'll come back to you guys here once we get to the 20 20 million mark again here's my task list right here we're only in 1832 which would basically when we would normally connect uh, Baltimore to Pittsburgh. And again, it's just a waiting game. I'm just going to uh, build my money up, wait till the 20 million mark, and I'll be back with you guys here in a second. All right, guys. We just beat the chapter. I, it went from like 19 to 20 million almost instantly. Um, I had just paid back all the bonds that I owed and everything else. So we beat everything by September 10th, 1832. I could have kept expanding, 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 uh, but I kind of sat here for like the last probably five minutes, ten minutes at the most to beat the chapter. Let's go ahead and look at our performance real quick. I'm kind of curious. Uh, let's see. So company, let's go ahead and get out. Here we go. Gonna play a little video real quick. We'll go ahead and exit out of that. Don't need to watch it. There we go. So we got the president's medal. Um, we fulfilled our task like insanely quickly. I think it was within three years that we did everything. It gives you, I don't know, like 10, 15 years. I don't even remember how long it actually gives you. It gives you a ton of time. That's the quickest way, in my opinion, to beat it with the president's medal. Um, I hope this helps someone out there. If you guys can, please hit the like button if you helped the guys or helped one of you guys out. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'm thinking about live streaming uh, the chapter three because it, it's going to take probably two to three hours to do on chapter three. It's a little bit longer of a scenario, and the tasks are a little bit harder as well. Actually, a lot harder in my opinion. Anyways, it's the Middle Age Gamer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Oh,
Don't you know?